Hey everybody, welcome into my sweet home living. My name's Tracy Campbell. Excited to have you here today for a very primitive fall decorating idea that I have never tried before. And I have kind of scoured the internet as well to see if there's a video tutorial anywhere and I can't find one. So we are making one today. So hop on in here, tell me hello, and um, let's get to crafting. If you like rustic primitive style decorating, I'm your girl, come on in. If you are new here, please let me know. You can type in the word exclamation mark new, all together, no spaces, and I will send you a comment welcoming you here today. So excited to have you. This is a live 45 minute segment that is cross streaming over into the one and only amazing Craft From The Clock group on Facebook. If you'd like the link to where you can find that, my chat bot will send you the link in the comments. If you are interested, just type in the word exclamation mark clock all one word no spaces and it will send you the link to where you can come find us so excited y'all are here miss sherry miss Joni, miss cheryl shannon you guys are in for a treat today i may be in for a treat today <laughs> i'm not clarifying whether that's a good treat or a bad treat we'll see <laughs> together today trying something new that i've really been wanting to find out or it's not anything hard it's just i've never done it i've never seen anybody do it um and i'll tell you what it is in just a minute so it's gonna all kind of go along with the theme of what we've kind of been working on over the last couple of weeks uh last week we did some faux cornbread muffins and a little faux cornmeal sack for some fall decorating and these turned out so amazing we primed them up with a little fabric strip ribbon and some dried sweet annie and these look darling as little props in your fall decorating well i've been doing some research on some fall decorating let me set this over to the side uh we're not going to need this right now but i wanted to show you guys, guys that in the replay is whew, sorry i had to drop that um on my youtube channel and here in my video library on facebook if you're watching on facebook thank you so much hey miss Susie lee from bella lena boutique okay if you kind of get in my, my vibe here, kind of see what we got going on. I'm thinking wood dough bowls, grain scoops, some dried goodies, and things like that. That's what's on my mind today for fall decorating, and that's the theme of our project today. We are going to be making some blackened corn cob chunks, <laughs> some waxed, maybe not blackened, but maybe just waxed corn cob chunks. And before that like freaks you out and you leave me, hold on. <laughs> it is something that is pretty common in primitive, uh, rustic, colonial, and even somewhat in like rustic farmhouse decorating, especially in the fall. Um, as you start seeing like the Indian corn or uh, the, the tri-colored corn uh, cobs that you see decorating for fall, well, this is sort of a primitive spin on that. And they are used, for not only decorating, but they're also used to give a nice, pleasant aroma, sort of like a natural air freshener or potpourri type smell type things. So y'all come along with me. Let's experiment together. I can't wait to show you what we're going to do. I've got some unusual items on the table today. So we'll need these later, but for now, let's set these over to the side. I have a hot plate, a hot plate on my table today. And I had to kind of make a last minute run to Hobby Lobby today for some wax. Wax. No, no joke, you guys. We are waxing corn cobs for primitive style decorating. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to style them and put them together and use them in your primitive home decor. And I think you'll really be surprised how charming they can be. Thank you so much. Miss Michelle put in the word command clock. Command is like exclamation mark and then clock all one word, no spaces. And that will... Uh, it will my little chat bot will comment back to you and give you the link for the craft from the clock group isn't that amazing so cool and if you want my telegram link you'll have to uh put in command telegram command is another word for exclamation mark command telegram no spaces and that will uh, send you a comment back with the link to my telegram channel where you can click on it and go join it you don't it won't automatically sign you up but you have to click on the link that it sends you uh, in the comments. Okay, hey Miss Jeannie, hey Miss Stephanie, so glad y'all are here. I'm so excited about today's project. So this is what I grabbed at my Hobby Lobby, okay? It's a beeswax block. And it is 
back in the section where the, the soap, the handmade soaps and candle type supplies are. And guess what? They're 40% off this week. So if you like this idea, you want to give it a try, you might want to hit up Hobby Lobby this week while they're 40% off. Because this chunk of beeswax, let's see, is regular $19.99. I got it for like 11 12 dollars okay actually i think it's higher than that online i think it's like 22 or 24 dollars online so um but it is 40 percent off this week i got a block of beeswax and it is i'm trying to see the size that it will tell you it's just a pound it's a pound block of beeswax and it's pretty long when i got it i mean you can see how long the package is it's about that size right there when you before you open it and it's about an inch inch and a half thick okay um, and I got the natural color you can get it to where it's already kind of uh, bleached a little bit I kind of just chose the natural color for today okay all right and I also grabbed I'm just showing you what all I grabbed today we may use it we may not use it this is liquid candle fragrance sort of like an oil you could also probably use like some essential oils or something like that this is used in candles and in soap making this is called Spice Pumpkin. <laughs> Spice Pumpkin. And then for giggles, I don't know if we'll get to this today. If not, we'll probably use this on another future project. But this is something that you can use to color your wax. If you've seen the true like blackened beeswax. Now we've done a faux fake beeswax uh, coated jars. This is not actual wax, but it's meant to look like a faux bees, uh, blackened wax. This is the little color squares that you need to uh, color tint your wax. So we may try these today, or if not today, maybe another day. So we've got lots of experimenting today. Lots of experimenting. And then of course, the, the main item today, <laughs> corn, corn on the cob. Well, I can't find any dried corn just quite yet for fall decorating. It's probably still just a tad bit early. So I went to Walmart, you can go to Walmart and this in the, like in the pet food section and get these little corn cob nibblers. I don't know what these are called actually. Uh, Pennington brand, they're just called ears of corn. It's for squirrels, okay? So if you have a squirrel feeder, you probably already know what this is. But it's already dried and this is gonna work perfect for us. This was like $8 and this is like a huge bag. Six and a half pound bag for like eight or nine dollars at my local Walmart. So uh, we're gonna be using these today and what we don't use for today's project, I have another at least two more projects that I'm going to use with the rest of this today. So um, I'm wanting to use some slightly shorter uh, ears of corn for today's project. So I'm going to kind of look through here and find the shorter ones before I begin. Um, and then you will need something, of course, to heat your wax. Now there's several different options, okay? Um, we're going to go with those short ones right there. Let's put the big ones back. These are already dried and perfect working condition to, to use. Um, they've already dry, been dried and cleaned. Um, and that's that's how, that you could, of course you could use like the tricolored coin if you have that available too. Um, but I'm just gonna show you the process today, I think. Like I said, I haven't been able to see anything like this on online at all. So I'm excited to do this for you guys and for myself <laughs> today. Um, the word come in, uh, let's see. Yes, that's right. Command is in the place of an exclamation mark. Exclamation mark and exclamation point. That's like such a mouthful to say. So when you hear the word command and then a word like command telegram, think of command as an ex exclamation point and then the word command. If you type that all together, it will uh, send you the link to whatever you need. You got telegram, you got notify. If you want to turn on your notifications, you could type in command no, uh, notify. Um, Command YouTube will send you the link to my YouTube channel. So we've got lots of options here. All right, I have a griddle, you guys. I'm gonna tilt this down just a tiny bit. I have a hot plate with just one of these disposable metal tins, okay? Now it is hot because I put that entire block of beeswax in this little pan, okay? We are gonna get some wax paper out and ready too because after we dip these, we are gonna lay these we're gonna lay these on the wax paper. I'm just trying to think of my placement here because I want you guys to see as I dip, we're gonna sprinkle with cinnamon and possibly some instant coffee. We'll try a couple of different um, techniques to see what kind of effect we like the best. Y'all are just gonna come in and play along with me and see what we get today. All right, 
So this is the block of beeswax that has already been melted. I have an idea. Let's tilt this this way. This might be better. And that'll give us more table room as well so that I can lay these. I had it this way to begin with and then I changed my mind. <laughs> Good afternoon, Miss Jennifer. How are you, Miss Vicki? So excited y'all are here. All right. I've just turned this hot plate on warm. You could also use a crock pot. Um, I just didn't want to put wax in my crock pot, you know? Um, and so I thought, well, this is disposable. And the other thing about this is, is that if I'm finished for the day and I want to stop and pick up where I left off another time, I can turn this off and this wax will harden back up and I still have it in this little container, right? I don't have to worry about getting it out and cleaning out, a, you know, my, um, slow cooker or crock pot or whatever to heat it up and this is disposable as well so when I'm done I can just pitch it there's no cleanup right um no space it's in between you are right Miss Susie Lee thank you so much for being here to help I appreciate you so much sweet friend okay now the other thing that I have and if you guys don't have these oh you're missing out <laughs> these little corn on the cob holders I'm gonna try to use these to roll my my corn in the wax okay now, I know you guys are probably thinking, what in the world is she doing this for? This sounds totally absurd. <laughs> totally absurd. Thank you, Miss Nicole. You'll get my YouTube link sent to you if you'd like to be a subscriber on my YouTube channel. Um, we will eventually have some exclusive content heading up over there on YouTube. Um, probably sometime before the end of the year with some collaborations with some other... Um, companies or businesses going on over there so excited about that all right so I'm just putting these little corn cob picks in the ends and this will help me roll it into the wax now before I roll what I want to do is I want to put a little bit of scented oil in here and this will kind of act like as your scent your potpourri think of a candle it's gonna give you that soft um, smell that we love for fall right <laughs> um so if you're kind of hesitant about using candles in your home this is kind of a good alternative you could uh, use essential oils or anything like that this is in the hobby lobby candle and soap department i got a spice pumpkin so i'm going to scent my wax before i roll my corn cobs in here but you guys back to what i was saying if you're thinking i'm crazy these waxed corn cobs are used um, quite a bit in primitive this is not coming out real well I don't want to go crazy with it uh, primitive and colonial style decorating especially for the fall um, you dip them in wax you scent them um, coat them with cinnamon and you can use them as dobo fillers I don't know it says it's highly concentrated. I don't want to go overboard, but it's like barely coming out, which might be intentional, right? <laughs> but I do have a good amount of wax here, and I do want them to smell pretty pretty strong. And you can totally do this without the scent, okay? Um, but all of their all of Hobby Lobby's wax right now is 40% off. So if you think you want to do this project, go grab you a block of beeswax um, at Hobby Lobby, and it's 40% off right now. Hey, Miss Jeanette, how are you? Thank you for sprinkling us out, Miss Vicki. Yes, it's totally interesting, isn't it? Right, it's something different. I have not seen, I mean, I've seen the corn cobs like for sale and people who make them, but never a tutorial that shows you how to make them and or how to use them in your decorating. So I'm your girl today. <laughs> could you add a wax melt to add the scent? You probably could. You probably could. Now the wax melt, depending on your wax melt, could give you a little bit of uh, color you know, uh, to your wax. Now this is yellow, I don't know, they have a whitened version, like a bleached version of the beeswax. I didn't really know which one I wanted because I've never done it before. So we're just trying it with the natural colored beeswax. Now it looks a lot more yellow right now than it does when it dries. It dries a little bit, quite a bit lighter actually. So we'll see, we'll see. Here goes nothing, right? I am gonna get my cinnamon ready because I'm gonna sprinkle these with cinnamon Oh, my little sprinkler is gone out of this. Hmm, I'll have to be careful because that'll dump. <laughs> that'll dump out everywhere. The other thing that I was thinking about are these little, um, these little wax cubes. I grabbed these as well. The little colored squares of wax. 
blackened beeswax is what's so popular with primitive style decorating. So we could blacken the wax and then dip them and rub them with cinnamon. Or we could, let's, tr let's try one plain first and see what it looks like and then uh, we'll try a blackened one. How about that? We'll try that. Hi, Miss Kathy. How are you? Okay, here goes nothing, you guys. We're going to roll it um, in this wax. And it's already, you can see that it's coating already, which is kind of cool. Um, and you might want to coat it a couple of times. Like I said, I'm a newbie at this. I have no idea. <laughs> Hi, Miss Deborah. Pour something in the palm of it. Yes, that's a great idea. Great idea, Miss Susie Lee. Thank you for being um, part of my brain today. <laughs> All right, so let's put these corn cobs off to the side. This is coated, and like I said, it is, ooh, dipped my little waxing. Now, while it is still wet, I'm not gonna be able to do it with both hands. And I'm okay with some of that cinnamon gets in my wax, I think, I think it'll be all right. Um, I'm just gonna sprinkle it on, and then we can kind of rub it and smooth down the appearance of that cinnamon as, after it dries, okay? Now, if you have tricolor corn, I can see where maybe you might want to keep the wax clear. Um, oh my gosh, smells amazing. <laughs> smells amazing. All right, I'm going to let that cool for a little bit. Um, and I'm going to go all in. I'm going, I'm going to tint my wax, you guys. Um, I like that, but I think I, want, I think I want that more primitive look. I'm going to go for the blackened. We're going to blacken the wax. So these little wax squares are in the same section of Hobby Lobby that all their um, candle making supplies are in, along with the beeswax that I have melted in my pan here. I just crumbled some of the squares. You know me, mess maker. Okay, now they have different uh, cubes that are tinted different colors. These are black, obviously, because we're going to be doing the faux black, well, not faux. This is going to be real, real blackened wax. I can't even talk today. <laughs> they have brown. They have red. You know, they have all kinds of different colors. But for the style we're going with today, I have no idea how much of this we will need. I don't know how potent it is. <laughs> um, it's just blackened. It's black wax that will tint your wax for you. Okay. All right, we're gonna go with a little bit more. And like I said, whatever wax I don't use, I can keep in this container and just heat it back up for the next time I'm ready to use it. So there's nothing lost in this. Um, if you don't use it, you can still save what you don't use and um, use it again the next time. Can you see that, how, how quick that <laughs> turned in black? You thought I was getting ready to bake this, Betty? Oh my gracious. Oh, it's, t it's too hot to bake here in Kentucky. I don't know about you guys, but man, I'm telling you. Summer, I'm hoping, is having its last hoorah here in Kentucky because we're seeing up near 100 temperatures all week, which I know many of you in the, in the south have already been experiencing that all summer, but we've had a pretty mild summer. Up until this week, Summer's like, ah, ha, ha, I'm not leaving you yet. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Betty, for sprinkling us out. Okay, we blackened this wax, you guys. This is so bizarre. So bizarre. It's definitely black. Now, I will say it looks even blacker on camera than it does than it does here. I mean, I can see the bottom of the pan, um, so we'll see. Okay, let's go for one of these corn cobs that's a little more covered. I think this is going to look really cool. And before I dip this, let's get this little pick in here. Um, I want to go back to this one. Now, this is the one that we dipped in just the, the clear wax. I sprinkled it with cinnamon, and I think the wax had already started to dry a little bit, a little bit too much. It dries pretty quick. Now, it is still a little bit soft, so I can take my finger and kind of press that cinnamon down into it to rub it together. I'm going to show you how to embellish these as well and how to use them to decorate as well. Um, but it smells amazing because we put that scented oil in here and then of course we've rubbed it with cinnamon. Um, and so you kind of get all of those good 
fall smells all together <laughs> all together okay so while this wax is even more wet I am gonna sprinkle this on before I set my corn cob down because I don't think it's really sticking to it quite as well you know what I could use as well if it doesn't stick I could take a little bit of my heat tool just to coat over it and kind of soften that wax down a little bit then sprinkle my, my cinnamon on to kind of get it to stick a little bit better uh, so we'll try that texas is horrible right now misty i know i feel so sorry for you guys so sorry i know that's got to be rough okay y'all ready to go in <laughs> i haven't had rain since june oh my gracious that's awful we're going all in you guys we're rolling okay now my picks i can tell are gonna have to get um, resourceful here okay now I will say that the black is it's not really coating real well so probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to probably let it cool and then roll it some more kind of build up the layers I think it might take like numerous dippings to get that real deep black color I believe so let me show you I don't even know and it I think it's probably because we don't have enough coats on it yet but you know the black is sort of transparent right now and I want it to be I want it to be pretty dark so we're gonna let that cool for a second we're gonna roll it again real quick I, I say quick but I don't want to burn my hands my fingers either it's almost like a gray. I think my wax needs to be darker. Yeah, it's still got that transparent look to it. Let's darken it. Let's put the rest of that black wax in there. So you guys are learning right along with me. <laughs> I'm putting in a whole package of these black wax color squares from Hobby Lobby in with one whole one pound block of the beeswax that is from hobby wobby okay oh my gracious it's warming it up in here i know that i'm going to stir that wax in a little bit and we'll see if that makes any difference we'll see we'll see i told you this could be a flop <laughs> this could totally be a flop today <laughs> do I have a heating pad this is a griddle that I have under this is so uh, to heat this pan up and so uh, you could do the same thing with like um, you know like a hot plate if you wanted to or a crock pot probably um, I just thought when I'm done with you know when I'm done working on this today I can turn this off and the wax will harden in this pan this is just a disposable metal pan and then when I'm ready to use it all I gotta do is bring it back out and set it back on the hot plate and I'm not having to worry about cleaning out my slow cooker or hot plate um, you know anything like that and then I can save the wax and keep using it until it's gone okay let's dip again and I'm only gonna do one side right now it did get darker not sure that it's dark enough but it did get darker um, oh yeah it's not completely mixed together right there I can see the little swirls of those little color squares that I put in there now I think the cool part about this is to still be able to see some of the kernels of the corn so you don't want to completely coat it I don't think I mean it's up to you I guess you know what style you like um, but I think the cool part is to still see be able to see the formation of those those uh, kernels okay I'm not gonna be able to sprinkle this before it cools I need like a fourth hand third fourth hand <laughs> And some of my wax went into the or my cinnamon went into the wax I'm okay with that I mean everything gets a little bit of cinnamon around here I'm just gonna kind of smooth that down into it but it definitely needs to be darker so if you choose to use the black technique you will want to use either less beeswax 
um, or more of the black to add to it. Depends on how many corn cobs you want to cover. Um, we definitely need more of the black coloring. And I didn't get enough black coloring, so. Didn't even think I would need more than that. Usually black is such a potent color, <laughs> you know, with paint or, um, you know, anytime you're doing like icing or anything like that, that usually you don't have to have a lot of, of the black color to, to make it pretty concentrated, but this is an exception. Okay, let's get our little picks out. And it could be that as it dries, it may darken a little bit too. I don't know. Let's see what we got here. I don't know. I kinda kinda like it. Now, I know y'all are looking at this thinking, that looks, <laughs> that looks disgusting. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna jazz it up here in just a second and I promise you it won't look nearly as bizarre <laughs> as you may be thinking. Okay, just hang with me, okay? We're gonna go in we're gonna go in for another one. You know what I could do? I don't know how this will affect it. I'm willing to risk it. <laughs> uh, oh, a black crayon, that's a great idea. That is a great idea, Kimberly. I do not know if my kids even know where a black crayon is. <laughs> I don't think they do. <laughs> That might be a chore. I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of cinnamon, inst or not cinnamon, um, instant coffee granules and I'm crumbling them up into like a powder powder form and I don't know if it'll add to the scent or not but we're, we're testing it all out today we're testing it I probably didn't add enough to really do a whole lot but that will kind of dissolve in that and that could darken it some okay I don't know, we'll see. Let's take this one and let's roll it. Let's stick some pegs in here. Okay. That one is a little bit of an odd shape. It's long, but <laughs> it's short at the same time. Okay, now the part that has the cob is gonna soak this right up, I think, which is kinda cool. Okay, now obviously if you leave it sitting in here, the wax is not gonna harden, which is gonna look like you're doing nothing to it, right? So you kinda gotta take it out for a second and let the air hit it to kinda harden that wax, the first layer. And then we're gonna dip it back in real quick again. And let's go in for three here. That's a great idea. The black crayon would probably work. I just don't have, I don't think I have a black crayon handy. Whew, that wax got on my fingertips there. And I'm just gonna sprinkle on this cinnamon. And of course we added the scented oil to it already, which is a pumpkin spice, which already has like cinnamon, um, nutmeg. Uh, what else? I forgot what else it had in there cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove maybe. Um, you could use essential oils probably as well to scent your wax. So these are sort of like little candles, <laughs> sort of, but you don't light them, okay? You just, we're gonna decorate them up and you put them in a little uh, dough bowl, okay? That one turned out pretty good. And you can see where the cob soaked up the coloring even better than the kernels. Okay, I'm good with this. Okay, let's go with another one here. Let's go with another one. We've got three, if we do at least four, I can, three or four, I can show you how I'm gonna style these. Now this one is a little bit stubborn. It doesn't want this pick to go in the end very well. But you really gotta have something to be able to handle it, to pull it out with. I mean, you can't put your fingers right on, straight on that, that hot wax, so. Um, here we go. We're dipping it again. <laughs> Melting black crown, yes. Um, Uh-oh, I gotta read that. Melting black crown in your black wax smells horrible. Oh, I didn't think about that. 
okay well I'm glad you chimed in thank you so much because she said adding the black crayon um, made it smell bad and I I could probably I could see that I mean I can think back you know back when I was a kid there used to be some crafts that you would do with melting crayons <laughs> and I remember that smell now that you say that I, I can remember I can totally remember that okay so somebody has experience with uh, blackening <laughs> blackening corn or no black black blackening wax in general uh, oh I'm missing you thank you Miss uh, Karen thank you and this is totally something different now you guys just hang with me I'm gonna show you how to style this and put it together you, I promise <laughs> I'm not gonna leave you hanging um, now this one is still kind of drying now I need more black coloring in my wax I do believe I will say when it as it dries it does get a little bit darker I'm gonna show you this these others here in just a minute um, I am kind of seeing some of the clumps of I think maybe the instant coffee so that may not have been a real good idea to add to it I don't know um, we'll see I'm letting this kind of cool in between dips okay uh, yes it's just squirrel corn from like the pet like the, where the bird food is in Walmart that's where I grabbed it it's I forgot how many pound bag but it was like eight or nine dollars and it comes with tons of corn in it um, I'm gonna use some for this project but then I also have another uh, two at least two other projects that I can use with that same bag so um, I'll probably be doing those at some point next week so y'all stay tuned with me next week and um, I'll show you what else we can do if you get a bag of this corn what else we can do with it if you like primitive style decorating though <laughs> if you don't like primitive style decorating it might not be your day you might not be your thing hey miss Nancy how are you okay I think I think we coated this one maybe a little too much if you get it too much dip it back in there and let the heat melt some of it off because I'm, I'm not seeing those little kernels like I really kind of like to see those little nubs <laughs> so I'm just sticking it back in there to kind of melt some of it off and then I'm going to sprinkle that could be the cinnamon that I'm seeing um, on that too I'm seeing some little clumps of something in my wax it's either the instant coffee or it's the cinnamon could be a little bit of both the coffee I would think would dissolve the cinnamon will not dissolve so and while that's still a little bit warm I'm gonna press that cinnamon in there a little bit and then when it cools we'll rub it and smooth out that appearance of that cinnamon it smells so good okay all right let's let that cool for a minute let's check our time all right so let's do one more um, and then that one's a big one let's do one more and then I'll style it up for you okay so you guys can see what I'm talking about how to style these I can see the tricolor corn being really pretty with this technique if you can find some tricolored corn which you know a lot of times is really easy to find during the fall that would be really pretty and that exposed part of that cob I like to dip it in that wax and it just soaks up that black color so I think that's pretty cool so I am going to make sure that the ends of this corn are able to soak that color up Okay. it looks gray when you first pull it out but I will say that it does darken but I probably would still put a little bit more black in it or use less of the beeswax and I could still get away with one package of the black colored squares that I showed you guys earlier okay this will be the last coating on this one let's sprinkle Now you will get some drips. I think that's fine. I mean, that's 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 what we're. I mean, we know it's wax, right? Um, and kind of makes it look even a little grubbier than 
grubby anyway. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm smoothing that cinnamon on there. Um, you know, you could probably sprinkle cinnamon out on your wax paper and roll it. I don't know. Um, but I just figured since I have it in my hand, I can, I can uh, kind of determine how much pressure I want to put on that cinnamon onto the wax. And it, that way I don't get like dense indentations on the wax. Ah, uh, yeah, these are, these are going to be cool. Okay, let's put the top on this. And let's turn the hot plate off. Okay, I'm going to slide this up a little bit. Okay, now my hands are a little grody. <laughs> now I'm going to use some jute twine, okay? And then I am going to use some Sweet Annie. <laughs> now several of you have messaged me where to find Sweet Annie. Sweet Annie is usually harvested at the end of summer, or beginning of fall, and so sellers who sell this are typically on Etsy, or you maybe you may be able to find someone that's local to you, maybe on Facebook Marketplace, I don't know. But a lot of people are out of it right now. Until they start harvesting right, in, you know, in the coming few weeks, it's going to be harder to find, okay? So think about that when you do order some of it. You might want to order, you know, plenty to last you through next summer uh, until next fall if it's something that you want to use a lot of, okay? Um, so you want to stock up is what I'm basically trying to say. Now, I'm going to get this. I'm, this little bundle of Sweet Annie's kind of about fizzled out. I've about used it all up. Um, let's see, I've got a few little strands here that are, that are still okay. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to jazz up these little cobs and how I'm going to stage them. It's super easy. Okay, here we go. Now this is messy, but let me tell you, if you use moss, it's just the same. <laughs> moss is messy. But usually once you, you know, pull it out of your bundle, use it over like a piece of paper that you can clean up easier but once you put it on and you kind of decorate with it and leave it alone it's usually pretty good I mean if it's not something that you're going to handle a whole lot you're fine so let me pull back up these little things that I was showing you earlier I got a bag of these these are called what are they called this is from Hobby Lobby Putka let's see Putka Pods but they look like little mini pumpkins okay they're adorable <laughs> They are $9.99 at Hobby Lobby for a four ounce bag. Of course, it's in the fall, so it's on sale right now. So I think, right, I think it's like five something right now. But I'm going to use this. I'm going to actually probably use this dough bowl right now. And I'm going to use this as my base. Okay. Um, and just some good fall colors. Just some good dried naturals will give you that primitive feel. Okay. And I don't know if these smell. They smell, but not bad. I mean, they're not, they're not like super florally smelling. But you could even use some of that same scented oil that I showed you a second ago. Uh, this pumpkin spice. You could put a few drops of that in here. And, or in the bag. Probably would be better. Put it in the bag. Shake it up. Um, and then... Uh, use that in, in the bowl. Now, granted, whatever, if you do do this step, it will probably soak into your bowl. So if it's a smell that you don't want around all year long, you might want to go easy. But um, this is a smell that I'm, I'm totally fine with. So we're going to scent those little putka pods up. Scent them up with some pumpkin spice smell. I have wax on my fingers and my fingers keep sticking together. Whoop. Um, so I'm just going to give those a little stir, let that oil, it'll soak right into those little putka pies. These are so cute. They really do look like little mini pumpkins. They're, they're adorable. Okay. Now I could do a little more stirring, but I'm not going to, I'm going to move on here. Um, and then let's get, let's get some twine. Let's cut some of this off. We have a few more minutes, so I want to make sure that I show you how I'm going to stage these up. That wax is still a tiny bit soft, a little bit warm. Um, but I'm going to take 
oh yeah look okay this is a perfect example see how darker that how much darker that wax I'm gonna get my lighting how much darker that wax dried <laughs> and you guys saw it with me it was kind of a clearish gray color but I think I think we're fine <laughs> how about that I think we're just fine with the coloring on those I'm not I'm not disappointed in those at all okay so I'm gonna take a little strand of some twine and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get wrap it around a couple of times take a couple of sprigs of some sweet Annie okay we have 400 um, pot pot somebody had a question acorns would look cute yes um, they're pronounced poot pods oh my well I like putka pods better <laughs> <laughs> poop capods is a little bizarre isn't it oh my they're just cute little dried pumpkins if you ask me little mini pumpkins um okay so i've got a couple of sprigs of that sweet annie right there and i'm going to place that right underneath of my twine let's see here how do i want to just wrap it up and tie it in a knot basically is all you got to do you could use some homespun that would look really cute some little black and white or uh, black and tan uh, homespun would look adorable I may try some of that on a few of these to see um, how I like that as well okay now I need let me show you something I'm kind of funny about this let me show you do you see the tips of this I don't want to see the tips of that sticking out so I'm going to take another uh, piece of sweet Annie and I'm going to reverse it I'm going to put the pretty end over top of that so it hides that cut end if that makes sense okay and that helps hide it a little bit better now you have like a major little scent <laughs> a major scented bomb right here <laughs> scent bomb <laughs> oh my heavens the sweet Annie with the spice pumpkin with the cinnamon ah, they smell divine they smell amazing so this is just gonna be our primitive little display bowl if you will that's that's basically all these dough bowls are you place um, bundles of items in those little dough bowls and you set them on display now what would really be cool how about if you had um, a little candle a little battery operated candle that you could place in the center here with a bundle of these um, wax coated corn cobs amazing amazing you guys <laughs> I'm loving this absolutely loving it okay so I, I need one more Break. Sorry about that. My timer is going off. <laughs> that means our next creator is coming up live in two minutes over in the Craft Around the Clock group, you guys. You guys want to stay tuned. I can't remember who's up next. Goodness, I should have checked. Um, but if you go to the Craft Around the Clock group, you will find them. We have live crafting all day long, Monday through Friday. Um, every 45 minutes, we have a new creator. So, um, if you know have some downtime in your day or if you have some downtime at, at night and you're not able to sleep come check us out come check us out that's my other timer we got all kinds of timers going on around here I'm gonna finish staging this up and show you guys the finished display with a pretty picture I'll send that over to my telegram subscribers post it here on my page as well but how pretty how pretty are these just decorating it up in a little bowl and it's so earthy and so primitive and they smell so good they smell so good you guys thank you so much for joining me today i'm going to finish these up take a real pretty picture i think it would even be really cool if i had this little grain scoop in here let's see real quick i don't want to knock the wax off of these i could scoop up these little Poot capons. <laughs> these little, these little mini pumpkins, I like to call them, and kind of stage them that way with a little grain scoop. Prop your corn in there. 
maybe put in a little battery operated vo uh, votive candle oh, how cute how pretty and it smells amazing so sit this by your entryway or an island in your kitchen and you'll you'll smell it every time you walk by you guys love you guys thank you so much for being here today i will see you tomorrow for all things apple theme day in the craft from the clock group i can't remember what time i'm going to be live but i will make sure that my telegram subscribers know and i'll see you then